April 16th is Yom HaShoah, National Holocaust Remembrance Day, and one of the few Holocaust survivors still with us here in the Miami Valley is sharing his very moving and compelling story. New at 6, Maytal Levy joins us live to tell us why we should all never forget. It was an honor and a privilege to talk with Sam Hyder. He says it's not enough to just reflect on the Holocaust a few days out of the year. It's something we should all think about. For me, the conversation put life into perspective. Maybe we won't get upset about those little things when you hear what Sam has survived. I can still see my family. 91-year-old Sam Hyder is the only one from his family to survive the Holocaust. In 1942, on August of 1942, was the last time I saw my family. Born in Poland to Jewish farmers, Sam is at a hard time sharing his history. I have to admit, for many, many years, I wasn't able to talk. And finally, I said, no, I have to tell my stories. Telling his story today on National Holocaust Remembrance Day. At the age of 18, Sam was sent to the first of several concentration camps. The lice would eat me up alive. I didn't have nothing. No shirts, no underwear, just a, a camp uniform. One of those camps, the infamous Auschwitz. Sam overcame typhus, a deadly disease not many survived. A day of fate came where Sam was face to face with one of the most evil men in World War II history. I was facing the angel of death, Joseph Mengele. He was the one who decided if I should live or I should be put in the crematoriums. Waiting for him, finally he came to my row and he motioned me to the right. Had he motioned me to the left, I wouldn't be here today. In 1945, Sam was liberated, with his only form of identification being his liberation certificate. Today he's telling his story, hoping the Holocaust doesn't happen again, with a warning in mind for the future. With ISIS, with the Iran, history repeats itself. And if people are not going to talk about it, not going to do anything about it, God forbid, this can happen again. Connecting the past to the present and remembering the miracle of being a lone survivor. There is a saying in Yiddish, Sigvena Nesfina Shumayim, a miracle from heaven that any one of us survived the concentration camps. And I was among the ones who survived. But I never gave up hope. Sam married in 1946, a year after the liberation. His wife died last year. There's a saying in Hebrew, Lador Vador, from generation to generation. Sam asks that you take that message with you and talk about the Holocausts so history doesn't repeat itself and we never forget. Maytal Levy, 2 News, working for you.